OK, so in some cases, um, like this example, so here we have a discrete probability distribution, sometimes it's um, more convenient to write the distribution in a more succinct form, and we can write it as a function. Now, this can't happen all of the time. Uh, so if I just came up with an example where I had some random probabilities, they add up to 1, um, it may not be appropriate or we might not be able to really write a function that will be nice and succinct. And so sometimes this is the best way of doing it. But there are other cases where we can write it in a neater way. So what you might notice is that in each of these cases, we've got 1 over 15th, so probably getting 1 is 1 over 15th, probably getting 2 is 2 over 15th, and so on. So what we could say is that the probability of x being equal to x is actually okay, uh, the x value over 15. So when x is 5, it's 5 over 15. That's the probability. Where x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we can instead, instead of writing all the probabilities out, we can instead write the probability distribution in an, as an algebraic function, where we have the function given to us, and then we're told which values of x uh, is attributed to this.